So I hope you do well uh, like uh, Dendrobium nobilis as much as I do because today we're going to have a look at them all in bloom. Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkin Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, you guys, today I'm going to show you my Dendrobium, Dendrobium nobly types. Uh, I personally love them, especially when they are bloom. And this is one of my favorites. This is the uh, Prima Donna. It has these beautiful yellow blooms. But I have uh, a few more, so I'm going to show you my whole collection uh, that I have of these uh, beauties. But before I do that, I want uh, to uh, mention that in the end of this video, I will link a video on how I do winter rest them. So I do grow these in semi hydroponic as well as 80-85% uh, of my orchids. So, um, but these need a winter rest as you probably know. So that's a bit of a challenge. Uh, well, at least it was for me when I started growing them in a semi uh, hydroponic setup because uh, obviously we have always water in the reservoir. But I have a video on that and I will do that uh, that goes over uh, the Dendrobium nobilis and also my Catacidum types. It's basically the same. So that video is uh, on the end of uh, this one. So that said and done, let's have a look at, the, at all of them in, uh, in, uh, in bloom. So this is Dendrobium rainbow dance. And I have this now for three years. I think this is going to be my third year that I'm growing this one. And it always gives a beautiful show. It really, really likes to bloom. Look at that. Almost to the base of the plant we have blooms. And this one, I'm not sure, but I think it's very vigorous. So if you like a Dendrobium nobly type with a lot of blooms, you probably want to have this one. This is very easy to grow and very easy to bloom if you ask me. And we have still quite some buds to open as well, but already we see a lot of purple. It's absolutely beautiful. And as you can see some older canes, last year it did uh, bloom fairly well as well. These canes are a little bit larger, so that's always good of course. But here is one that's smaller. Maybe that was one of the last canes from last season. I don't remember. But a few are smaller, but most of them are bigger. So that is what we want, of course. And then after that winter rest, it will start to nubbins. And now I'm fertilizing it again. Because the blooming, it really needs the strength to bloom, of course. And those new growths, I saw two, two so far really needs the strength, of course, as well, to grow nice, strong, and big. So next year we will hopefully have a very similar uh, show of blooms. But yeah, this is my uh, purple, beautiful purple one. It's a rainbow dance. And this one is not in net pot, so I can lift this to have a look at the uh, roots. I cannot lift all of them, but this one I can. A look at that. This one is, has a pot full of roots. So some older roots is to be expected and some newer ones, some hanging <laughs> to the side of the pot. As you can see, those are beautiful, fresh uh, and still alive. So this one did, uh, whoops, take the wind rest perfectly. One little close up and then we're going to have a look at the next one. And the next one is a fairly common one, I believe. Dendrobium stardust firebird. So yeah, not much blooms yet, but here we go. Here we go, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful orange or what? <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's such a vibrant, beautiful, beautiful orange. Absolutely beautiful. And we have still some buds there and over there. It's also dropping its leaves while it's blooming. That's okay. They will do that. And here we still have some to open. But look at that and that beautiful detail on the lip. The details are with a more reddish color, I believe. The stripy bits over there. 
and we have a few stripes in the sepals and petals, but overall a very bright, bright orange. Absolutely stunning. This one is known to uh, give a lot of keikis. And I think I'm growing this for two years now. Let me quickly have a check. 21, yes, so this will be for three years. This is going to be my third year. I bought uh, a plant that was very, fairly weak and it did shoot out the keikis and those are these new canes. So it's still one plant, but I just uh, lay it, uh, did lay it flat, as you can see on this pot. And luckily the keikis started to grow. It was a very weak plant when I bought it, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Luckily I did. And it really did recover beautifully, as you can see. And yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I love, love this one. The color is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, but it's known for, to give you keikis. So yeah, but if you don't mind that, that too much, then uh, you probably will also enjoy some blooms. But I don't, I cannot give you a care guide in, in when uh, to get more blooms or to get more keikis. Some people say if it's warmer, it does like to more, make more keikis or may you keep it colder. It will more uh, start more to bloom or the other way around. I don't remember. I'm just giving the same care as, as the rest because I ha only have one greenhouse, <laughs> only, only quotation marks. So yeah, this is getting what it does get. And so far it, it looks like it's uh, liking the care. So yeah. But yeah, this one, uh, like I said, can, can, can give you quite some cakes. We shall see in the near future what this one does. If we do get the beautiful new growths down here or on the stems. I really hope down here, of course. I don't really need the cakes, but I wouldn't mind it if it happens. As long as we uh, every year have a few of these beautiful blooms, I'm happy. <laughs> So yeah, and this one is in a net pot. It has a, quite a lot of roots. Uh, trust me on that, but I'm not going to take it out because otherwise I will break those roots because they are growing through the, through the holes in this pot. So I don't want to damage them. So that's what I meant with the other one that I not can show all the roots on every single plant, but here and there I will show you some. But uh, yeah, you can see these canes are very large. I believe they are a little bit larger as the older canes. So they're really doing fine and that, um, so she, she must have a beautiful root system. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to damage them. It's not necessary. It has a little bit of a fragrance, but not much. But I think if it's a lighter day, it will give a little bit more of a nice uh, fragrance, but not re not very much or so nothing to uh, write home about. <laughs> but yeah, there, there is a slight fragrance. So yeah, if you, Look at something like this. I mean, you, it's impossible not to like them, isn't it? Because they are so beautiful. Look at this splash of color. So we did turn from orange to yellow with very similar blooms, as you can see. So yeah, I'm calling this one as well a Dendrobium Stardust Yellow. I'm not completely sure if that is the right name. And uh, this is a gift from Inse, and Inse was calling this uh, the starters yellow. Uh, once again, I'm not completely sure, um, but it is so similar. So yeah, I'm going with that name as well. It's, it's just the stardust, but then with beautiful yellow blooms. As you can see the lip, we still have that striping going on. And now we can see it's more red than orange, I believe. It is a bit more clear on the, on the yellow. But yeah, the, the shape of the blooms, it's, it's exactly the same as the stardust we just the orange one we just saw and this one also gives a beautiful beautiful show so yeah i did ask him for a piece of the plant but he decided to give me the whole plant which really wasn't uh, what i'm asking was asking for thank you so much i'm really happy with it but yeah i didn't want to take the plant from you but just just a cake or something like that but he said well you can grow it on and and we decided from uh, maybe um, if if it does well, I'm going to split it again. But I said that I said it to him because I felt, yeah, it was a little bit too uh, too much. I really enjoy. Don't don't get me wrong, of course. But yeah, the whole plant, it's 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 amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much, Inza. I really really enjoy it. I mean, look at it. It is absolutely magnificent. 
some butts over here and also some mealy box. This one has mealy box and it's very hard to get in there, but I will spray it after I'm done filming, but that's okay. I'm on top of it and yeah, they just keep on coming back. It's a bit of annoying, but luckily the blooms are still beautiful. But yeah, you can imagine it's a little bit hard to spray in there because of the amount of blooms, but yeah, it's doing very, very well. So yeah. This is uh, another variety of the Stardust. Let me quickly uh, get a sniff, see if this is uh, fragrant as well. And yes, there is a hint of a fragrance. So there's a little bit, not much, maybe because it's a very dull day and we had quite some dull days. I can imagine that it will give uh, release more fragrance like the other uh, ones we just saw if it is a lighter and warmer day. But there is definitely also a fragrance over here. But it's hard to describe. It's not, not spectacular, but it's still a nice fragrance. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, and then we have a look at this poor thing. Well, it's still growing and this is this last cane. So we're going from smaller canes to a little bit larger to a fairly large one in comparison to those canes. But yes, believe it or not, this is my oldest nobly type and it's struggling. It's, it's like I just described. It's coming back, but oh, the poor thing, it's been through so much because I needed to learn how to grow these beautiful dendrobiums uh, in this setup with a winter rest. And this one was the first one. So this was my uh, guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. You definitely can see it. But like I said, luckily it's coming back. But yeah, it's, it's been through a lot. So what happened was I didn't I didn't understand uh, the the, the uh, way to give this a proper winter rest because of the system. So I kept messing it up and every single uh, time, every winter that is, it did uh, loses completely the root system. So every spring it needed to start a new root system completely from scratch again. So it took a heck of a lot of energy of this plant and I feel really bad. but. I can only be thankful I learned so much from this one. But now, as we just saw, they, I think I tackled it. I narrowed it down. I now know how to do it. But oh yeah, this one really helped me out and, and it cost a lot of energy. But anyhow, um, here we are. I think this is my uh, Dendrobium Spring Dream of Pollen. It came with no tag, so I'm not completely sure, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is this one. As you can see at the blooms, it has that beautiful green color on that white in, that, in the center, in the lip, and a bit of pink on the edges of the um, sepals there. Uh, petals, I'm sorry. The sepals are three, those are the petals, that one and that one. <laughs> but anyhow, there's a little bit of uh, pink over there. I think that the blooms can be a little bit bigger if, if you have a more healthier plant. As you can see, it's still a bit struggling, even though it loses its leaves. But yeah, it, it really needs one. These are luckily looking better. So this is a bit of a younger new growth, but it also starts putting out buds, as you can see there. So it will not get any bigger. This is the terminal leaf. But anyhow, this cane is, uh, is fairly uh, nice and large. So it's doing better, definitely, but yeah. <laughs> and this one, talking about fragrance, this one is a beautiful fragrance-wise as well. It has, has a beautiful sweet fragrance and I did have a sniff and yes, indeed, now I don't smell much. So it, it definitely has to do with, with today. It's, as you can see, probably it's a very uh, gray day. We don't have much uh, sunlight yet, um, but yeah. We need to wait for that, sadly. <laughs> but yeah, then def this is definitely has a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I think the best of all the nobly types that I have. I, I absolutely love the fragrance. So yeah, this is my uh, Apollon. <laughs> and then another beauty. And this is probably the my personal favorite because of the color of the blooms. If you know me, if you know my channel, you know that I love, love yellow blooms. Yellow with white, uh, yellow with pink, as long as it has some yellow in it. I really, really love it. And I mean, it, it looks so beautiful with that green of the leaves and then those beautiful, fairly large yellow blooms. Yeah, it, that, that really does it for me. <laughs> so I love it. This is my Dendrobium uh, Prima Donna. 
and it always gives a beautiful show. I have it now for three or three or four years. I just cannot remember on top of my head, but quite quite some years, and it blooms blooms every time for me. So maybe you notice that this cane is a little bit um, smaller than, especially this one. This is also from last year. As you can see, it did bloom. This cane is um, from the previous year. I'm sorry. This is actually from the last year, from the growing season. That one is about to bloom. It's bigger, but not as big as this one. I'm not completely sure. I think because I live in a climate where we don't have that much of very bright sunny days and warm days, um, it, it has its influences on the canes. These really, really like the warmer, brighter weather uh, in summer when they really start to making those new canes. So yeah, if we do have a, a very good summer, I probably ha will have longer canes. But as you can see, it can get quite large. But yeah, if it's a bit more darker uh, summer, not as much light, the canes will, will not get as big. But nonetheless, it blooms beautiful. So I don't mind it as much. But yeah, keep that in mind. If you have a warmer climate, <laughs> it can grow fairly big. Let's uh, have a look uh, from this angle. So yeah, it may take up some space, but this is how it uh, basically starts. You see those little teeny, uh, tiny green nubbins, and then they start becoming bigger, and you now obviously can really uh, see the buds and uh, buds forming. And there it's well, actually something. It looks like something is coming there as well. But yeah, this will uh, have quite some blooms on it as, uh, as well. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, Dendrobium prima donna, and this has also a, a fragrance which reminds me of hyacinth, and um, it's a bit a bit soft and not as strong as hyacinth, but it's it's uh, looks like uh, that fragrance which you also find fairly often on Cattleyas, I think. Some Cattleyas are, are have a magnificent sweet fragrance, but a lot have that, that hyacinth type fragrant, I think. And now I just noticed that this cane is also a fairly new one, has also buds here and there. Whoops, I'm sorry, the bloom was in a way. <laughs> so yeah, we will have quite some blooms in my, uh, for my next blooming update. But yeah, like I said, my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, then again, if I only look at this one, <laughs> it almost feels as a favorite as well. Oh, I absolutely love this one as well. So yeah, it's hard to get a real favorite, I know, but I hope you can see, and, and uh, if you compare it with my hand, it's qu has quite a size. I think this one has the largest blooms of my nobly types. And what I love about this one is the contrast. It almost has that pure white, and then we have that dark center with a a halo of a yellow color, and if, if we back away a little bit, it's almost black, black and white. It's a dark purple color. I hope the camera will pick it up here, yeah, you can see it now. So a yellow halo around that purple and then that white, isn't that magnificent? I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. And we have quite some blooms on this one. Mm, if I remember correctly, well, let me check the tag. Did I bought it last year? Uh, yeah. Don't mind this one, this is an old tech. I reused the tech. So this is from last year. So uh, it's, it's doing well. I bought it in bloom. I think it had a few blooms. If, if I remember correctly, it's from Landsberg, from a, one of those open houses. I think I found it there. But the blooms is definitely bigger. This one is really, really enjoying it here. And yes, this is the newest cane. I mean, this one is really doing well. If you compare it to this one, it's bigger than the previous cane, so that's what we want to see. But it only has one uh, cluster of three blooms on this cane, so I'm not sure why. But luckily it does bloom on all the canes as well, so probably uh, next season we will have more blooms over here. Maybe later in the year some do that as well. The Prima Donna, Donna does. It can shoot out a few uh, blooms here and there during, uh, during summer and spring. But this is its main blooming season. I'm not sure if this one will do that, but uh, yeah, it absolutely is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
and fragrance wise the same as the other one there is a hint of fragrance not much today and not much in general i think but it, they are all have uh, so far have a fragrance but it's not overpowering so if you love a fragrance but not the very strong ones that you can smell through your house or your whole greenhouse then these nobles are really really suiting uh, for you as well because uh, like i said there is a bit of fragrance but not too much not overpowering and then i have this one listed as uh, watana b white but it didn't came with a name tag so it's very hard to give these guys a uh, right name as we all know but yeah if you can uh, can find it for me then i'm happy uh, to have it and let's have a quick view of the roots before we continue this journey yeah oh look at that more than i thought you guys very thick white roots some are going getting out of the pot yeah it's all the way around it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and that is again why this has quite a nice thick cane bigger cane yeah absolutely absolutely doing well yeah. and i think this one we see on other channels as well quite often i believe the androbium comet king Akasutsuki. Uh, it's a beautiful one. Let me uh, first put the tag back, as we can see. This was the second one to bloom, so we will have a few blooms that are going over already. This one is actually falling off, but you can see here. But nonetheless, it's still beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at over here. So this one has quite some blooms as well. Let me back off a little bit so you can see. Nice large cane. So I'm happy with that. Beautiful progress. And uh, quite a few blooms over here. This is also, it has a bud over here. I was a little bit distracted, I saw some buds. So yeah, they're not always open at the same time, but it doesn't matter for me. But I must say, if they really start to bloom, um, if it is their, their season, their moment to actually bloom, the show is a bit better because obviously they have more blooms to show. But a very nice, nice bloom. I like that white in there. A bit of pink and a bit of yellow. <laughs> a bit of darker center again. So yeah, this is absolutely a beautiful one. And of course we wonder, does it have a fragrance? A, a little bit, a little bit. So far, this one, I, I, I really need to put my nose in it. So yeah, there is something that we can call a fragrance, but in comparison to the rest, this is has a less fragrance so yeah there's a little bit but i i wouldn't buy it for the fragrance and i never buy my plants for fragrance i'm always falling for them because of the blooms or a structure a fragrance is a plus but yeah i'm always falling for the blooms and if i would see this one again i obviously have it but i definitely would definitely would buy it again it's beautiful but keep in mind it also can get fairly large so it needs its room to grow. This one has beautiful strong canes. I'm really, really happy with it. I really see some uh, good, good progress on the canes. And that is good obviously because the new growths will probably be stronger and we will get better bloomings, maybe even lower, but it's very hard to get the blooms all the way down here. So we, we have, we had a bloom over here that did already fall off. So that's okay for, um, like uh, Michael McCarthy said, for a, for a hobby grower, that's very, uh, that's a very nice amount of blooms. He commented in one of my, uh, I think it was the last blooming update. But anyhow, it's, uh, so yeah, if you buy them, you see the, a lot of blooms on there. It's probably with the hormones and everything uh, spot on. So temperature, fertilizer, and then with some hormones, I have no idea what they use but then you will have these canes with with a heck of a lot of blooms but i'm 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 really happy with this you guys this this is this is wonderful i i don't need more it's a beautiful show more are always welcome <laughs> don't get me wrong but yeah beautiful i'm very happy with uh, with this one as well oh and that reminds me i keep forgetting to show you the roots i uh, but yeah um if if everything is well, I should be able to lift it. I don't want to break anything. Quickly check, I don't see any buds. And there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Amazing, yes. This is a root bound. So all these beautiful roots did survive the winter. Oh, there goes the steak. I'm sorry for this strange angle. <laughs> you can see the steak is not in the pot. So that needed to, in the inner pot, I should say. So I have this in between so I can support this cane a little bit. But anyhow, yeah, beautiful roots. And that explains obviously the beautiful thick cane canes that it grows. So this one uh, does do well even in winter. So before we go to the really, really last one of this video, <laughs> I'm just coming back to the prima donna because of, obviously I uh, should mention this straight away. I did mention the uh, bit smaller canes in comparison for the previous year, uh, or to the previous year, I should say. And I was referring to the light. Well, they obviously, uh, it, it's in this case, it's not really a light issue because the, just the last two we just saw were in the same section and they do not have this problem. So, of course, nine out of ten times it's inside of the pots with the root system. So let's have a quick look because not everything is always going well. And you can see, hopefully see that this one had a lot of roots. We have some alive there, as you can see, but we also have a lot of dead roots. And that is the problem, you guys. So I need to take it out and freshen it up. It's still doing well. The blooming canes are not shriveling or anything. And it has a beautiful display of blooms. So maybe it does look a little bit different because it took me several weeks, well, actually two weeks, I think, uh, when I could continue uh, this uh, film, um, this video, because the last one we, we just see in a minute is finally starting to bloom. <laughs> But anyhow, so yeah, it's, uh, it does look very, very pretty. But that's the case most of the times. Like I said, 9 out of 10 times, if something is a little bit off on top of the pot, probably the uh, problem is inside of the pot. So I should know better. And that's why I'm adding this, this in, because it's very important. So it may look all nice here, a bit smaller, and you think, well, it's kind of okay. Well, uh, just check your root system. Probably something is off there. So that's it and done. Let's have a look at the last one for this uh, video. And here it is. Yes, <laughs> some of you probably will know straight away, but this is actually not a nobly type. But I have it growing uh, in between my nobly, so that's why I was uh, referring it to uh, as a nobly type. It's in other section amongst the dendrobium. It's also called the white uh, bottle brush orchid because of the way it blooms. It looks like a white brush here. So just to be clear, this is not nobly type, but it's uh, like I said, growing uh, within the same section. So that's why I'm putting it in. And it's uh, a fairly new one. Let's turn it around a little bit more. So, but and finally it did open up these blooms, which is very, very funny. And that's why I'm taking the time to put it in as well. But like I said, technically speaking, this is not a nobly. So uh, look for the tag if you want for the name, if you want to know more about the care. So this is it. This is the actual name. This is Dendrobium capitioliflorum. Yeah, uh, I did try it at least, <laughs> but yeah. This one, these are the new canes, this is a new one, and this one, believe it or not, this just uh, grew them uh, during winter. So uh, this uh, didn't get a winter rest, and it's, it says on internet, I did uh, look for some care guide, that indeed this one can grow through winter, it not necessarily, necessarily does it always, but it can grow uh, all year round. So then I keep on watering it and keep on feeding it. And I'm happy I did because this one uh, looks very, very uh, well and very promising. So this game is obviously, well, it's almost bigger than this one. This is grown in the, the nursery. I really uh, have it uh, for about a year now, I think. Maybe not even, let me quickly check the tag. 23, as you can see. So it's, t I think, 10 or 9, 23. So I, have, I only have it a few, oh, seven. It says seven here, I'm sorry. <laughs> so July, it's not even a year. Can you believe it? So yeah, it's doing very well, but it's blooming on the uh, older canes. So uh, probably next year we'll have some blooms on these as well. Who knows? 
but this is something uh, very nice. I think I didn't have a, a look inside of that pot. This is not a completely transparent pot, but do we see something root-wise? I, I see them. I hope you can see them as well. There is a root, for example. And there, somewhere, I hope you can see it. Yeah, these pots a little bit hard to film, but nonetheless, you can see it's doing very, very well. And like I said, it's growing uh, in between my nobly types. So yeah, I kept uh, referring to it as a nobly type. I'm, I'm not, but uh, it's not, I'm sorry. It's not, I'm sorry. But anyhow, yeah, I love growing these dendrobiums. Absolutely beautiful. And here you can see, this is uh, the prima donna next to her neighbors. Those get exactly the same light. So yeah, obviously, uh, I, uh, like I said, I should know better. From the start, there's something uh, with the roots. So this is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me uh, get stand over here so we can see all the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I really uh, enjoy growing them. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. You may want to share it. Who knows? Thank you so much. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>